What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today is going to be a super quick Warzone tip video, and this is just something that I wanted to get out there because there's still a lot of people that are confused about this, and this has to do with how do you get those free loadout drops within Warzone? I'm talking about the ones that just kind of randomly appear on the map, or at least it seems random at first, and you can just stumble across them and you don't have to spend any cash on these or anything, they just drop on the map. So with these, a lot of people are still unaware that these come at a predictable time every single match that you play. And this is really important to know because there have been several situations where I've had teammates buying a loadout drop and spending 10,000 cash on a loadout drop just seconds before this free one drops on the map so we wouldn't have had to spend that 10k cash. So let's get into these timings and you really want to commit this to memory. You want to know exactly when these loadout drops are coming every match because like I said, it could save you 10k cash. Throughout a Warzone match, two of these loadout drops will drop for each team or each person if it's solo. The first one comes in about 15 seconds before the first circle finishes closing in. So initially when you drop in the match, it's about four minutes before the gas starts moving. Then we have the second stage. This is where the gas starts moving into the first circle. And this stage lasts for about four and a half minutes. It's during that stage when the gas is just about closed into the first circle. That's when you get your first loadout drop. Now, sometimes while playing, you can get distracted and completely lose all sense of time. So for a quick reference, you can notice this at a glance. Just look under your mini map. You'll see a one labeled there when you're in your first stages. If that one with a circle around it is just a solid white color and it's not flashing red, that means the gas isn't moving yet. You're in one of the stages between the gas movements. Then when that starts flashing red, that means you're in the stage where the gas is moving. So at about 15 seconds where that red one is flashing, that's when the first loadout drop comes. Then the next one is in the fifth stage before it starts flashing red. This one will come in between the gas movements in the fifth stage with about 45 seconds left before that gas starts moving. So you're looking for a solid white five in a circle under the mini map. And then once that gets to 45 seconds, that's your second loadout drop. Now, as for the location of these loadout drops, there's a couple trends I've noticed. First off, they always seem to drop within about 130 to 200 meters away from you. It almost always seems to be within that range. However, the other requirement that it looks like it needs to fill is it has to drop within the circle itself. So it's never gonna drop within the gas or right where the gas is about to go with that particular circle movement. It will always drop inside the circle. Now, another thing that a ton of people are still unaware of, and this is really important information, when that loadout drop comes in, that is your loadout drop. That is only for you and your teammates, assuming you're playing a squad-based mode. All of the other teams or players on the map, they won't see the indicator for that for your particular loadout box. They'll see one for their loadout box, but not yours. So initially, when I started playing Warzone, my thought and my strategy was, okay, I'm gonna camp this loadout box out because it has this marker over it, so therefore a bunch of people are gonna try and come for it. It turns out that was just my loadout drop, so nobody could actually see the indicator. They can see the boxes, of course, but not the indicator. And therefore, camping your own loadout drop out is probably not the greatest strategy out there. However, when you take that into account, if you see other loadout drops that drop in on the map, and you know they've dropped recently, and they don't have that heads-up display indicator above them, that means that's one of the enemy team's loadout drops. And this first off lets you know that there's an enemy player within about 200 meters of where you saw that loadout drop land. And also this means that you might want to keep an eye on those loadout drops and maybe even camp them out a little bit because it's very likely that an enemy player or team is going to end up coming and collecting their loadout. Now one other thing when it comes to the positioning of these loadout drops that I've seen a lot of people mention, but I haven't seen a proper official source for this. Perhaps I've just missed this at some point. A lot of people are claiming that these drops will always come equidistant between you and an enemy team or player. So if it drops exactly 130 meters away from you, that means exactly 130 meters on the other side of that drop is going to be an enemy team. Now with this, like I said, I haven't seen any official source confirm this. Perhaps I've missed that somewhere. And also just based on my experience, this doesn't really appear to be true because I've had several situations where I've been in the circle and my first loadout drop has come in towards the edge of the circle and the exact opposite of that is well within the gas. And it's very unlikely that there's an enemy team that's like 200 meters within the gas at that point. 
So I did want to bring that up and mention that others have been saying this, and who knows, maybe it is actually true, but based on my experience, I have a hard time believing this. But in either case, that's pretty much all the information I wanted to share with you guys on these free loadout drops that just drop in on the map. The most important thing to remember is the timings. You want to have those just like seared into your brain. That way you can avoid making that mistake of buying that loadout drop just seconds before you get a free one coming in on the map. Now, knowing these timings, you might be wondering why would you ever buy a loadout drop in the first place? And for some people, that's a very valid question. For a lot of people, they would be perfectly content just using the guns that they find on the ground until that first loadout drop comes in. However, for a lot of people, they can get that 10k cash within the first two to three minutes of a match, and it can often be very beneficial to be one of the first teams on the map with a custom loadout because that's going to give you a huge leg up against all of the other people that first off have no perks and second are just using guns that they found on the ground and they might not be perfectly comfortable with those guns. So you really have to go game to game with this one and judge it for yourself. Sometimes you get a really slow start where you just have a hard time building up that cash. Maybe a couple of your teammates went down and you had to spend that money to bring them back. In those situations, it's often in your best interest to just kind of ride it out and wait for that first loadout drop to drop in on the map without spending the cash. Whereas in other situations where I have a really strong start, I usually want to get my first loadout drop as fast as possible so that I can be really dominant with a custom loadout when nobody else has one. But with that, that's pretty much everything I wanted to share in today's video. I feel like that's really important information to know that will absolutely affect your decision making within Warzone. And of course, I'd like to know in the comment section below, did you guys know about these free loadout drops and exactly how they worked before watching this video? Or did you learn something new today? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.